Hey, what's up, YouTube? Funky Diabetic One recap video for uh, Friday and Saturday. Um, but before I get into it, I've got actually got seven TTMs here and one really, really nice just because uh, I just wanted to address one thing. Um, got a situation here I'm in with another YouTuber that uh, is pretty unsettling. Um, I don't want to identify who it is because I don't really need to get into a you know, any kind of a bad situation, but, uh, there was someone who had a for sale for trade video, and, uh, there was two cards I wanted, so I asked him about those two cards, he told me he wanted $15, which was really low, so I was like, sure, I'll take them, sent him the money through PayPal, you know, I have, you know, my PayPal account shows that the money was received by him, um, He's insisting that he never got it. So it's one of those situations where, you know, maybe this is the one in a 999 trillion times where this type of a glitch could happen with PayPal. I mean, say what you want about PayPal, but, um, you know, if a transaction is listed as completed in my, um, you know, in my PayPal account, the only way for that to happen would be for the money to have been transferred into someone else's account. And I'm absolutely positive I transferred it to the right account. So anyway, I'm out 15 bucks. This guy is insisting that I never paid him, and he stopped returning my PMs. So he's a scam artist. I'm pretty confident. Um, but then again, I don't know for sure, so that's why I'm not getting into name calling. I'm not going to tell you what his name is, what his username is. All I will say is be careful out there, guys. There's... There's bottom feeders, there's low lives, there's people that are out to steal your money. And um, if you don't have your wits about you, they're going to succeed. And uh, another thing I'd like to say is if you are, you know, doing business with somebody and they ask you to send money as a gift through PayPal, um, use extreme caution. Because if you do that, if you send the money as a gift, you have absolutely no recourse if they try to pull stunts and tell you that they didn't receive the money. You're screwed, man. So, I guess this is like a public service announcement. Just take care out there, guys. Deal with people that have a good reputation, that you trust. And if somebody's telling you that they want to sell you a Troy Tulowitzki and a Phil Hughes autograph for 15 bucks for the pair, you know, if it sounds too good to be true, it is too good to be true. So anyway, that's enough for that. Um... Let me get on to my mail here. I've got uh, one uh, failure to report. It's from James Lofton. Uh, didn't sign the card, um, but he sent a note. Price list. He wants uh, 15 bucks for a card. Uh, 20 bucks for gold line art. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but uh, anybody wants James Lofton, there's the address, and uh, you gotta send him 15 bucks for a card. If you want a football, it's 50 bucks. Um, then, as far as successes, Jack Perconti, former Mariner, signed that card. And he also signed three index cards. They all look I, exactly the same as that. Uh, then I got Dave Hengel for my set. Got a two of two from Jeremy Guthrie. This uh, took quite a while to get these. Personalized that one, and on the two on the 2010, he's uh, inscribed it Go O's. Um, got a one of one from Andy Sonnenstein, and this is now a duplicate uh, because I did acquire this in a purchase recently. So if anybody can use that, let me know. I uh, got one of one from Bill Fisher, signed it in ballpoint pen. Uh, nice on the uh, 60. I don't know if that's 60 or 61. Um, nice looking card though. Got Ed Hoba. This is on a 62. Sign that with a thin Sharpie. Looks really nice. And the last TTM is uh, Jim Corsi from my 89 top set. Which is awesome in and of itself. But this is also my first dual signed card. I had sent that to Bob Malacki, 
uh, he signed it, and now it's also got Jim Corsi. So I'm pretty psyched for this. My first dual signed card. Hopefully, uh, first of many. So, pretty cool return there. <clears throat> and last, while I started this video with a tale of, uh, you know, negativity, I received a piece of mail today that is pretty friggin' amazing. I got a PM from a while back from uh, Bounty331. There's a signature there. He said he had something he wanted to send to me, so he said it was no big deal, so don't think much of it. And he friggin' sends me this, man. Oh, there's my address. It is an Xavier Nady autographed 8x10. He got that signed in person. Um, let me see if I can cut down the glare a little bit. Um, so Nady's one of my favorite players, one of my PC guys. Um, and this is awesome. He just sent this to me as a just because. Now, I know it was a just because, Bounty331, but... Uh, you know, this is awesome. This is definitely something that will be in my PC forever. And uh, I will be returning the favor. I know you're a Pirates fan, and I've got some, some stuff I think you might be into. So that will be headed your way. And this is probably going to be matted and framed um, because it's awesome. <laughs> so thank you very much. So definitely generosity for the win. Um, didn't have to do that. He saw that I liked Xavier Nady in one of my recent videos and just decided to send me this. So that is awesome. Thank you very much, Bounty331. If you guys are not subscribed to him, you need to go do that. He is a great TTMer. He gets tons of stuff. He's working on a, um, a 2011 uh, Topps Heritage set. It's the one that looks like the 62 Tops. I think it's 2011. So if you could help him out or I'll let him know. Subscribe to him. I'll put his uh, username down in the description box so you could uh, search him that way. And I'll, I'll try to get the uh, link down there too. But I'm using my phone, so that's not the easiest thing in the world. Um, all right, that's it for today, guys. Uh, so yeah, be careful out there. Be careful who you're sending money to because you know they might pull stunts. And uh, you know, just uh, just be good to each other, guys. We're this is a community based on faith and trust. And without that, we really don't have much. Um, this, you know, there's, there wouldn't be much happening in this community. So, uh, all right, that's it. Take care, guys. Talk to you soon.